Hey guys, it's Chris Likeness with Mobility Site again, uh, coming to you with, uh, I guess you would call it a video second look of the uh, Microsoft Zoom. I'm going to answer some questions, give my initial uh, impressions after using it for a few days. Uh, since this could be handled as an audio podcast, but I don't do audio podcasts, uh, I'll just run this little video that came with the Zoom about some skateboarding in New York City and uh, read some things to you that I've put together. I uh, posted this on mobility site. Uh, this was the day of after I'd played with it for three or four hours. Uh, basically after a short time with the Zoom I wanted to post my initial impressions before I, they got out of my head. Um, update, I want to know who selected the video or the audio for uh, preloading these things. There's the um, preloaded tracks on this thing, uh, some of them I just don't understand where they come from. Some indie type stuff I guess. So anyway, uh, let's talk about the packaging. Uh, as you saw in the first look, the packaging was one of the coolest, coolest boxes around. Looks good. Uh, nothing much to say about it. Uh, inside the box, the headphones are pretty decent. Uh, they're about as good as the ones that came with the Dell DJs and the iPod. Um, if you want superior quality, you're going to spend a little money. I thought they were pretty decent, though. Uh, I'm using some more high-quality ones right now, uh, the Ultimate Ears. Um, Documentation was great. The CD, uh, initially I said I hadn't installed the app yet, but I went home that night. I had to upgrade uh, Windows um, Media Center Edition to uh, the most current patches, and uh, everything worked wonderfully. Uh, right out of the box, synced up, everything was hunky dory. Wasn't too, uh, no troubles found there. Um, the marketplace software so far has, is awesome. Uh, the selection isn't quite as great as they're just getting started, but. Uh, I had no problems. You just right click on one of the CDs, uh, one of the album art images, and just download a whole dead gum album if you've got the all you can eat, which is only $14.99, and I can't see where you go wrong there. Um, get a 14 day trial in the box on that uh, all you can eat um, music down or uh, music downloads. Uh, comes with a little carrying pouch. Who cares? Uh, friend of mine over at Gear Diary, uh, she. Uh, uh, Kind of thought it was funny what I called it. It's a it's a microfiber pouch. Uh, I guess you can clean the screen with it and carry it around in there. But uh, she uh, did a good job correcting me. Thanks. Uh, the Zoom itself uh, looks great. Um, it's a pretty sexy looking device if you ask me. Um, you can see it right there. You know it is. Um, brown is not the new white in my opinion. A lot of people are getting the brown because it's unique, which is, it is. <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to do brown. I'm probably going to be using the black one once I settle in. Um, the construction, it's, uh, be 100% honest, it feels kind of chintzy, but uh, it works. It's not as heavy as it looks. It's just as big as it looks. Uh, it's, you know, bigger than the iPod, but it is, uh, it's pocketable, and it's not as heavy as it looks. That's all I'm trying to say. But uh, it feels kind of plasticky. I, it doesn't have that solid feeling to it, uh, being quite honest. I, I really like it, but meh. Uh, the design, uh, don't really know what they're trying to do with the scroll wheel look there. Uh, it's not a scroll wheel. It's a uh, five position, you know, five buttons underneath a circular what to look like a jog dial. Um, <clears throat> nah. I, I, on the white here, I really don't like the contrast of the black and white with it, but anyway. The screen, <laughs> I mean, that's where the money is right there. Uh, the screen is fantastic. It's, uh, you know, you can see it right there. Nothing needs to be said about it. The performance, it uh, Gizmodo's mentioned that they had went to the, um, the pre-release party on it um, in New York City and uh, came with a video the next day said it scrolls like butter. It is pretty uh, responsive. I, I I was impressed with that. Let's uh, get you something else to look at while you're listening to me babble. I don't know what this is, but we're just going to click on it. We'll resume it. I was... Uh, it's almost over. I should have just... Anyway. Um, sound. Oh, man. It sounds great. Uh, with the Extreme Mac FS1 ear monitors, I've got uh, some $89 Sony headphones. And some ultimate ears, I mean, wonderful. I mean, even the uh, ones that come with it are pretty darn nice. Uh, so, anyway, nothing else left to say about that. Uh, battery life, um, I'll mention that. Well, I'll go ahead and mention it now. 
the very next day after I got it, I charged it overnight, full charge, got to work, 7.30, I left the house, threw the earbuds in my ear, listened to it illegally down the road, uh, 7.30 a.m., at about, I don't know, I guess uh, 4 o'clock, I realized we were down to about 25% life, and I listened to the thing all day. I didn't watch many videos, I mainly just listened to uh, audio that was, whoa, what's going on there? audio that was uh, laid down um, six o'clock so almost 12 hours of continuous play is what I got out of my very first charge so anyway let's um, get to your uh, questions uh, somebody asks uh, the uh, oh heck I'm uh, getting off track here I'm sorry alright let's see here is the screen plasma simple no it is a uh, TFT style screen it doesn't um, not TFT uh, LCD style screen the end let's get you something else going there I'm sorry about this uh, I figured this would be better than trying to put together an audio podcast I don't do those anymore I mean I, I've got one that I do with some friends but uh, I don't do one for myself at all so this is a, uh, a video of a group uh, it's kind of sexy um, Let's see here. Integration with the Xbox. What is this all about? Dude, I don't know. Uh, I have no clue. I don't have an Xbox. And uh, I really don't know what they were going after with uh, this Xbox stuff. Uh, I do know when I installed the Marketplace CD, um, it asked if I wanted to sync with an Xbox. I just clicked no because I don't have one. So, uh, sorry about that. Nice review, but you've had your iPod too long. <laughs> They're referring to the... Uh, the scratched up black iPod I've got. Um, I really haven't had it that long. I've had it less, probably around nine months. I just, I'm kind of rough with it. I use that one to cut the grass, keep it here at work, gets banged around a little bit. So, uh, next question. Uh, I am the I am sick of my iPod comment seems a little strange, particularly when many of your comments mention the superiority of the iPod. Well. The iPod is a superior product at the moment, and I'm just excited to see a another, another player with the financial backing to be able to make it happen because I'm not a big fan of the iPods. It is a great product. Uh, you can't deny that, but I'd like to see some more competition out there. Simple as that. So, uh, Mr. Pidley says, I like the shit brick you got there. Uh, I have one, too. You might as well have shit in a small box and carry it around. The Zune is just too big. Big yes. Yes, I agree. Uh, it is big, but it's still pocketable. And, I mean, you got to have something to put that big screen in, right? So, uh, Microsoft's first attempt, very nice. Uh, the screen, wonderful. Uh, nothing else I could really say about that. So, uh, Turbo Steve asks if... Uh, <laughs> If I got them for free, I'll take one off your hands if you don't mind. I got that taken care of. Sorry about that, Steve. Um, what are the formats are for video? DivX or AVI, songs, etc. Uh, video, WMV only at the moment. I'm sure there are going to be some companies to come out with some kind of, you know, workarounds or so forth. Uh, there's a company uh, that... Uh, basically make something for the iPod, the Dell DJs, everything to make them a little bit more uh, functionable if you will but uh, no real need. So what can you tell us about battery life? I mentioned that a few minutes ago it's been great so far. Good video don't listen to them negative people. I was undecided but after watching your video I think I'll buy one after it releases in Canada. I got a couple uh, emails as well uh, asking when it was going to be available in Canada. Uh, I don't know right now. Uh, I have a contact that I can give a hold, get a call to, and uh, find that out. Uh, those that are interested in that, if you will, go to mobilitysite.com and fill out the contact form and ask your question again there, so that I can archive it and uh, be able to send you out an email when I find the answer. Uh, great video. Now I know. What the product consists of, blah blah blah. Wish Microsoft put Bluetooth for the Bluetooth headphones instead of Wi-Fi, which will be next to useless. I agree. Um, right now, that Bluetooth uh, or the uh, Wi-Fi sharing really—I mean, what's the purpose? Um, I mean, you can share one song 
or share songs for three days. I, I, I don't get it, but having a radio in there, uh, the Wi-Fi radio, it gives hope to uh, being able to do something more with it later. So that's my hopes right now. Bluetooth would have been super. I would love to have been able to, but there's really not that many real high quality audio sounding Bluetooth headsets yet. They're coming. And, you know, the uh, Blue, uh, Motorola HT820s are pretty good. So, <laughs> uh, Dust, Dust Sork. Loved it. Now I'm definitely going to get a Zoom. Thanks. P.S. It's kind of ironic listening to a southern accent talk about technology. LOL. But it's all good. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Southern geeks need love, too. You know that. Uh, if you go to chris.lechness.com, uh, the tagline of my personal blog is... Uh, uh, incoherent ramblings from the redneck tech geek so but anyway um let's look at a couple things um, here quick. the comment that somebody made about the um the beat up ipod <laughs> there's a little demonstrate or uh exhibit a this is a uh, pretty pretty beat down it's only uh been about nine months but i mean what the heck it's not a it, it's not a fashion accessory it's a functional unit right <laughs> so anyway I don't even know if I have a battery life left on my iPod here right now but anyway I haven't used it in about I don't know about as long as I've had this so anyway let's uh, take a look at a couple things here uh, some things I wanted to show y'all that I thought were kind of neat we'll get a little zoom in on this so um, you uh, see my son right there eating a sandwich at the park right that's pretty neat um, how do you do that that's pretty easy. Go down here. Here's a photo that I have of him eating again as an infant. He was a little fat, chubby baby. He's gotten a little bigger or a little taller now. So you find your uh, picture in your photo gallery you want, and you click on the center button, and you come up with this uh, menu here. And I want to apply that as my background, right? So I click it again. Put out. Background changed. All right. So we're gonna go back to the menu there and you see it uh, orient made the orientation where uh, we've got it looking beautifully so my little chubby baby there so anyway um, a few other things the music um, I didn't mention this earlier I, I like to look for my music when I decide I don't do playlists often because uh, playlists are they're good but sometimes you just want to listen to one artist or I I, I just like to do like random all or select who I want to listen to that day and like today I want to listen to Alice in Chains and you you know if you got several albums you just play all or you know I just typically have been doing this and then play all pow big old album art there let's turn the volume up see if we hear that so um but anyway, that's not all you got here, though. When you go to that screen, the music screen, you can go by artists. You can select your pay playlist. I've got a few that I set up just playing around. You can just go by songs, and you see I got some ID3 tag issues there. And as you scroll, see how fast that is? I mean, there's, what, 1,600 songs on this thing, and just scrolling through. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, playlist, songs. Uh, you can go by genre, so if you want to see what kind of blues I got in here, it's probably just, eh, they're going to call it Eagles, Stevie Ray Vaughan, a lot of Stevie Ray Vaughan. So, uh, albums, like I said, you can actually choose by the album if you don't know the artist or whatever, but you know how it goes. So, anyway, um, radio, I want to show you the radio. I didn't get that working earlier. It may not pick up where I'm at in here. This is uh, the station I listen to, uh, Rock 10. Well, it used to be Rock 105, 100.5. The X now is what it's called. So, uh, Community. This is where you're listening. Uh, see right there, it says me listening to Radio 100.5. You can click on Nearby, and it's going to search for Zoom devices. Uh, when you see somebody else nearby, which in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, I don't think I'm going to find too many people. No nearby Zoom devices found. Um, when it would find, excuse me, when it would find a uh, device, it would show each of the people and what they're doing if they're listening to a song or whatnot. Uh, inbox, and then me again. So uh, settings. 
we've got some different settings now that I've got the uh, software installed it's um, got the wireless you can turn that on and off I uh, got your music you can set up uh, I got my equalizers set up to uh, hip-hop pop rock none acoustic classical electronic hip-hop eh, let's just put it on rock so I'd like to have seen like a equalizer that you could actually uh, manipulate so we got your picture settings display uh, backlight you can set the how long the backlight goes off uh, TV system you got oh when somebody asked that if it goes uh, if power is supported and I guess that's a yes uh, TV out I've got off I can put that on to return the display to zoom now we're gonna cancel that I'll lose my display and not be able to do anything sounds got this little uh, you can't really hear that but it's like a, a little almost like a dime hitting the hitting the uh, table sound I don't that's just something to use up your battery but it does confirm you're doing it so the radio uh, North America and Europe or Japan online status detailed basic detail about zoom tells you about the zoom there 2006 Microsoft Corporation blah 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 storage this is a nice little screen here I got 1500 songs 31 pictures 15 videos 7.83 gigabyte used so uh, one thing uh, that's come up since I first looked at this uh, that I really didn't like uh, this you can't plug this in and use this additional 19 uh, gig that you saw there as an external hard drive that is something I don't know if the iPod does or not because I I never really use the iPod in that capacity but I do have a 20 gig Dell DJ that I used used to use that before the zip drives got bigger and bigger <clears throat> I'm using a 2 gig U3 drive now so um, anyway a couple other questions uh, uh, that were asked uh, does the Zoom support DivX codec and I answered that a minute ago didn't realize that uh, no it does not um, I'd love for it to because DivX is cool, uh, but it doesn't. <clears throat> uh, the mass storage, I mentioned that. Um, the bigger screen, uh, it, it, it's the same resolution as the iPod, it's just bigger. So, um, no, nothing, nothing for the uh, iPod, or no, none of the iPod accessories that have to do with the size or shape or the connector will work with this. Um, can you edit your uh, ID3 tags and so forth with software? Yes you can. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty good interface for doing that. Um, that's about it. Uh, no Mac support right now and I'm sure you saw in the headlines there is no uh, no support for Vista at the moment but since Vista is a product of Microsoft and it's coming soon I am pretty much damn well guarantee it's going to be coming uh, support will be coming pretty quick. Um, I do expect future releases. Uh, I don't. I, I, I can say some things, but some things I can't say. I do know that the Zoom is not necessarily just the name of this device. It's a platform. It's a future. It's something that Microsoft is uh, wanting to go with. This is uh, step one, and uh, I can't guarantee you that they're going to be a player in the market, but you can only hope. So. Um, what else? Uh, there's a few other things I wanted to mention, uh, and I'm pulling a blank right oh, yeah. now. One other, one question that uh, I wanted to uh, ask or answer. Uh, it was actually sent in by one of the members of uh, Mobility Site. Um, if uh, podcast support is built in, no, it's not. The uh, software does not have support for podcast. You can, and it's easy to do, uh, just not as flawlessly as the uh, iPod store allows it uh, you can uh, download your you know podcasts and sync to the device that's about it so anyway uh, some more incoherent rambling from the internet or a redneck tech geek uh, there you have it uh, a little bit more maybe I answered all your questions maybe not uh, heck leave more me leave more questions if there's more to be answered um, like I said it's it's clunky it's not as small as you know you would hope for you know if you didn't see the first look you can see the difference in the size there I mean it is definitely this is a 30 gig uh, Gen 5 
video iPod against you know see the difference there I mean it, it is it is amazingly bigger but uh, it's really not that big that way so um, it still fits in a shirt pocket that's all that really matters to me and something I thought was kinda cool I doubt that you're gonna be able to see this from this but see underneath that serial number it says uh, hello from Seattle uh, really not important but you know hey what the heck right so anyway there it is um, if anybody was wondering these are the ultimate ear headphones these retail for about 250 bucks don't laugh uh, I got these as a gift from a uh, Microsoft conference I went to and these are the best best headphones I have listened to um, they're very 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 just I mean a little bit better than the FS ones from Extreme Mac uh, which are pretty popular uh, but the bass response of these is phenomenal I, I, I love them so anyway uh, Chris Lechness mobility site thanks for watching um, I'm glad that everybody appreciates what I'm doing here. Uh, it's a hobby. It's fun. I love technology, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.